Oasis Radio Group says it's important to acknowledge companies that continue to invest in our city. Because of this, the owner of local radio stations, including US 93.3, 106.3 Joe FM, and Hot 106.9, invested money and rounded up sponsors for a summer concert series. The company says the concerts could bring as many as 20,000 people to downtown Fort Wayne. Joining me this morning is afternoon DJ and opera- music operations manager. Is that music correct? Music director. Music director, thank you. AJ McGuire. Thanks so much for coming in this morning. Well, it's good to be here. You have a lot going on this whole summer. It's been a busy one. Yes, it has. We've had uh, several shows. Both Hot and Joe have had shows downtown. And today is the uh, big finale. I guess you could say it's a 12-hour concert event that gets underway at noon and goes until about midnight. What all can we expect to see downtown this Day well, and evening. it is going to be an eight-star studded lineup uh, hosted uh, by uh, uh, Music Mafia's very own Cowboy Troy. The headliners are Travis Tritt and Clay Walker. And, uh, and I believe you have one of uh, one of our stars here today, Jason Sturgeon, is going to be performing a little later on. We do. That's right. We're going to get to hear a preview of Jason's hit single today on our show. But I'm sure he'll have so much more that everyone will want to turn out for his show tonight as well. Yeah. So what's the turnout been like at these concerts? It's nice to have some music downtown, some options for people to get out and about. Right. Yeah. I mean, the, the thing is, is that we've been a, there's been a really big turnout as far as um, people coming out. You know, I think a lot of the folks in this part of the country love having live shows, um, especially when affordable ticket prices are there and $25 is the ticket price for a 12-hour concert is pretty good. Usually it's 60 bucks for a two-hour show. So um, this is going to be something very special. Never been done before. We're literally closing down uh, parts of Main Street right there by Calhoun and uh, it's already been closed down and we're going to be filling it with hopefully thousands and thousands of uh, proud U.S. 93.3 citizens today and having a great day also. I mean because it is 9-11, um, being very respectful and remembering and um, also celebrating all the things that we have and, and hold valuable to us in this country um, and you know the other thing too is that uh, we couldn't do this without the help of uh, you know the downtown improvement district to be a part of this and to help bring people to downtown Fort Wayne um, it's such a neat city and I think when people come down there who maybe don't get a chance to go downtown very often see a restaurant that they like or maybe a, a new club they want to check out or you know, it's just a new store it's a great way to help bring people downtown and also at the same time enjoy, enjoy a fantastic event that's never been done before. And that's just not a nice coincidence. That's been part of your big picture plan here is to bring more life downtown. Isn't that right? That's right. And it seems to be the uh, the case so far. We've had a lot of success with both the uh, the Hot and the Joe show. And then today with the uh, with the big downtown showdown, we'll, we'll cap it all off. Okay, AJ, looking forward to it. And good luck with all the planning that goes into it. I'm sure there's been a lot of work behind all of this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm ready for Monday. Thanks I'm for sure. Sure you are. Thanks for coming in this morning. Thank you. We'll be right back.